Welcome to a CyberReason video. In this video, we'll show you how the CyberReason Defense Platform can protect your environment from the LockBit 2.0 ransomware. LockBit is a cyber criminal gang that operates using a ransomware as a service model, meaning it provides entities or individuals with its ransomware and divides ransom payments between the customer directing the attack and the LockBit gang. LockBit 2.0 is believed to be related to the Locker, Goga, and Mega Cortex malware families. It shares common tactics, techniques, and procedures with these malicious attacks, particularly the ability to propagate automatically to new targets. Being used in targeted attacks rather than just spamming or attacking organizations indiscriminately, and the underlying tools it relies on, such as Windows PowerShell and Server Message Block. Luckily, the CyberReason Defense Platform's anti-ransom module can protect your environment against the LockBit 2.0 strand of ransomware. To demonstrate this, let's first see what happens when the ransomware is executed on a machine with the CyberReason anti-ransomware module prevention mode off. We can see the ransomware encrypted files and added the extension LockBit. We also see a ransom note. Now let's see how the CyberReason anti-ransomware module responds to the ransomware when in prevention mode. We can see the executable was prevented from executing, and no files were encrypted. We can see the execution of the LockBit 2.0 file when the anti-ransomware prevention module was disabled in the CyberReason UI. From the malops management screen, we see a couple of malops. One for the ransomware behavior, and one for ransomware that was identified by threat intelligence. This means CyberReason not only detected the specific ransomware strain, but identified the behaviors it exhibited as being those of a ransomware attack. Looking at the MALOP detail screen, we can see more information about the MALOP, including infected machines and users, suspicions, and processes. We can click Investigate to see more about the process itself, including the process tree, timeline, associated MALOPs and suspicions, connections it attempted, and more. If we look at the attack tree, we see the sequence of behaviors and events associated with the LockBit execution in a different view. For example, we can see the command line it executed, tried using VSS admin and WMI to delete shadow copies, and BCD edit to prevent it from backing up the files. We can see these processes in the tree as well. With the CyberReason Defense Platform, you can not only prevent execution of ransomware strains like LockBit 2.0, but fully investigate and respond to these incidents from the UI.